guys, it's Jason with Fix, Learn, Create, and today we're gonna do a valve cover gasket on this Land Cruiser. Check it out. First steps first, we have to take the air box off and this hose. Honestly, if we could just get this hose off, that would eliminate us having to take all these different hard plastic hoses off. We'll need a, a pair of pliers for these clamps, 10 millimeters, and then these are 14, I believe. And uh, yeah, we should, uh, should be able to pop that up with minimal removal. Let's see what we have to do about the throttle uh, cable linkages there. But yeah, that, that's, uh, let's get to it. It doesn't go the whole way. Not too concerned about that with the age of this vehicle. This hose is still a little flexible, so we can reuse it. Make sure you get your Dr. Pepper. Not sponsored, but oh, uh, it makes you work better. What the heck just happened here? Huh? Old car, didn't break. See that? This thing just popped right off. Okay, this view is a little better um, for you guys. So uh, what I did here, this was where I had to take the hose clamp off there, hose clamp off there. You don't have to take it off, just get your pliers on it, scoot it back. These pliers are an AST SCP 2014. Um, they're really cool, they got a groove in it to hold all your clamps. Lifesaver. Um, so what it looks like, we got one, two, three, uh, four, fourteens. We've got this hose on the back. We've got to get undone. So let's come around. Uh, looks like it's a finger hose. Might could pull it off. Oh, it's hard. With older vehicles like this, the hoses, that should be malleable, get really hard. So you gotta be careful about cracking them. We may have to be replacing that hose. Uh, okay, so we got her off, but I need to check for cracks because I had to turn it a little bit and I can't see the backside right now. Got some grippies, so don't slip and bust your butt. Well, there we go. Inspect for cracks, because they are old hoses. And you see there's a, there's a good bit of cracks on that one, but it does not go down too far, so I'm gonna be okay with reusing that one. And that's just to the charcoal can. There we go. Inspect for cracks, because they are old hoses. And you see there's a, there's a good bit of cracks on that one, but it does not go down too far, so I'm gonna be okay with reusing that one. Anyways. Get your 14 millimeter. Uh oh, don't drop it. Hey guys, don't drop it. These guys a shake, make sure they're not gonna fall off. And there's our cover, it is loose. It doesn't mean that we're ready to come out yet. Be mindful on the back to lift up and over because you don't want to drag over any of the lifters or scratch any surfaces or anything like that.
and hard as a rock. And you'll see here that the reason why they fail is that like this is just so, so brittle. And you can hear it crack, like listen. Oh, like you, look, look at all the stress cracks in this. We're gonna look at the uh, area here. Golly, it is dirty. There's no chunks. I don't see any chunks on it or anything, but uh, we're gonna clean this up. Um, take like a little scotch pad um, and just kind of scuff this up a little bit. Hit it with some brake clean, clean it up, and we'll go back together. Now that we have her all cleaned up, yes, she's got uh, little spots all over it, but you know what? The customer just wants it to not leak. He doesn't really care how it looks. Um, yes, you can paint it. It's not going to hurt anything. Uh, just use some high heat temp, uh, temp paint. Um, this customer's got, trying to get by as, as, you know, we're kind of caring about his dollar amount, so he's not trying to do a ton of work. Um, these gaskets, um, if they are leaking on you, uh, replace them, but half the time they don't they don't do much leaking. Make sure your gasket is nice and cleaned off and fit it Just like that Nice. And you kind of have to pinch it down in there um, speaking of pinching I, I brought my pliers over because um, Sometimes if the gaskets not quite staying down in there you can pinch the metal this inside portion here See how it's uh it's almost kind of let me see here if I can this this inside is a is a sleeve that runs inside the valve cover gasket. Yes, it, it it's part of it, but it is is slightly malleable. So stick your gasket in, and uh, if these grooves, these little uh, reliefs, I wouldn't say reliefs, but these little bumps in the gasket, they're meant to hold the gasket in. If they're not doing their job very well. Uh, I'll show you. We can just give a like. See this? It's not quite holding in as nicely as what I'd like over here. See that? So I'm gonna give it a couple pinches just to hold that gasket down. See how it held, held it down just a little bit? This one's pretty far out there, so I'm just gonna kind of help it out. Give a couple squeezes, you know. Go back around it again. Get your ends pretty good, definitely the back, and give it the flip test. I think we're good. Uh, we're gonna go in this way and then over. The hurdles we, have, we had to jump through previously was this cable, the throttle cables, and this back wiring harness. So we're gonna sneak her through nice and gently. No sudden movements. Try not to scrape the gasket on these threaded pieces because the last thing you wanna do is cut it. Now, you can bump it what will most likely happen first before you cut the gasket is you'll just pull it out the groove. You'll set it on there. And uh, it was such a pain in the butt. You're just so excited to get the bolts on, get it done. You rush too much, the gasket's falling in. And uh, next thing you know, you got plumes of smoke after you uh, drive about a quarter mile. So let's not do that. Uh, I speak from experience, I've done it a couple times. Uh, even if you think you've done like the best job, take a mirror to it and I'll show you. And it's a good thing if you got enough room to stick your fingers under here, right before you set it down on the block, make sure you just feel the gasket. Just gonna get past this portion here. All right. Now I don't like those sudden movements. See how it just dropped down a little bit? That, that is not, it's technically most people, most people be like, oh yeah, all right, perfect, fell right in place. Well, that jar, that little drop could make the gasket fall out. So I'm gonna lift it back up in the back and just trace my finger around and feel it. Flashlight in the mirror. And you're really gonna trace all the way around. And just see, put eyes on that nice new gasket you just put in. 
this is time consuming. It will take some time because uh, your mirror won't fit in all the little spots. But dang it guys, give yourself some, some confidence in your repair and stick a mirror down in there and just verify. Now center your holes up and hand do your tighten it first. So just get them all started by hand, especially you don't want to you don't want to cross thread anything either. That's that's a big no-no. Happens, but it's avoidable. So Throw that by hand. Uh, I only brought out my giant thing here. That's okay. It'll give me some reach. But you really don't need this much torque. Torque spec, uh, nice and tight, but not over tight. Like, uh, these aren't head bolts, so dear lord, don't crank on them. All right, so I've got them threaded down so I feel comfortable using my um, electric drill. So I'm just gonna seat them down in there. This one here. All right, started to tighten up just a little bit. There we go. It hasn't stopped. I could go further, but what you're doing is, is putting, applying pressure to the side. And you only need a little bit. The oil is not under pressure. It's not, uh, it's not being forced out of this cover. So all you're doing is just making sure it seals down nicely and keeping the oil inside. Um, this whole cavity does not fill up with oil. So you're just essentially keeping it from spilling over. Uh, next steps, make sure you put your 12s back in for the bracket you took out. Um, and then your intake air pipe. Make sure you inspect it for cracks because these guys are super, super susceptible about being old, brittle, and cracked. So um, make sure you your boot, I'll show you here your boot here. Make sure you kind of give it a pull. This one's uh, relatively new, so it's still squishy. Yours may be pretty hard. So just kind of give it, give it a pull. Make sure you don't have any cracks in there. No cracks in here. Um, inspect your boot for um, air leaks because that will really affect its running runnability. Hey, I appreciate you watching my video. Um, there's going to be more and more to come. So subscribe, subscribe button is over there. Go ahead and click it. Hit that bell notification so you can update every every new video I, I post. Hit a thumbs up if you like it. Thumbs down if that's just your mood today. Um, but other than that, thanks for watching. Peace.